If you have ever read the Bible, you may have wondered about the mysterious beings called angels. Who are they? What do they look like? What do they do? And why are some of them more prominent than others? Angels are spiritual beings created by God to serve him and his people. They are mentioned 273 times in the Bible, both in the Old and New Testaments. They have different roles and ranks, such as messengers, warriors, guardians, worshippers, and rulers. One of the most mysterious and powerful angels in the Bible is Michael. He is mentioned by name only five times, but his actions and influence are significant. He is described as the prince of the host of angels and the protector of God's people. He is also involved in some of the most important events in biblical history and prophecy. The Bible does not help us here very much, although artists have imagined the Archangel Michael and all angels as beautiful, taller than humans, and powerful. Angels are spirit beings with some type of localized form. They occupy some space adapted to the unseen spiritual realm. Paul explains that not all flesh is alike, and there are both heavenly bodies and earthly bodies. But the glory of the heavenly is one thing, and that of the earthly is another. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 39 40. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2 tells us to remember, to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Therefore, they must sometimes take human form, but that form might not be obvious. A host of angels greeted shepherds, watching their flocks on the night of Christ's birth, their form was obvious and glorious. At other times, angels blend in with the crowd. Bible verses about Archangel Michael. Yet Michael the Archangel, when contending with the devil he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuked thee. Jude chapter 1 verse 9. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 8. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16. The prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me twenty-one days, but Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I was left there with the kings of Persia. Daniel chapter 10 verse 13. At that time shall arise Michael, the great prince who has charge of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never has been since there was a nation till that time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. Daniel chapter 12 verse 1. Things to know about Archangel Michael from the Bible. He is one of the chief princes of angels. In Daniel chapter 10 verse 13, he is called, one of the chief princes, who came to help Daniel when he was praying for understanding of a vision. He also helped another angel who was delayed by a demonic prince of Persia for 21 days. He is the Archangel. In Jude chapter 9, he is called, the Archangel, who disputed with Satan over the body of Moses. He did not dare to bring a slanderous accusation against Satan, but said, The Lord rebuke you. He is a warrior. In Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 9, he is the leader of the angelic army that fought against Satan and his angels in heaven. He and his angels prevailed, and Satan and his angels were thrown down to the earth. He is a protector. In Daniel chapter 12 verse 1, he is called, the great prince who protects your people. He will arise at a time of great distress for Israel and deliver those whose names are written in the book of life. He is a herald. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16, he is associated with, the voice of the archangel, that will announce the second coming of Christ along with the trumpet call of God. Even as he fights Satan during the end times, however, the archangel Michael will not be as powerful as the Messiah. We see Michael as a sword-carrying warrior against demons, but the blade we are most concerned with as Christians is the sword of the word, an essential piece of the full armor of God, Ephesians chapter 6. Michael is a fascinating angel who reveals God's power, justice, and love for his people. He is not to be worshipped or prayed to, but to be respected and appreciated for his service to God and his people. He is an example of faithfulness, courage, and humility for us to follow. Who is the Archangel Michael to us? Like other angels, Michael serves a purpose in God's kingdom. Angels are mighty ones who work for God. Psalm chapter 103 verse 20, using his authority and the power he gave them to fight Satan. We see that in the verses cited above. Angels deliver messages, carry out some of God's judgments, act as an example to us in their worship of and obedience to God, and patrol the earth as God's representatives. They act on behalf of God's people as per God's command. This should create a sense of wonder that there are angels around us doing God's will, invisible to humans. Elisha and his servant were surrounded by the force of Syria, and Elisha's servant was terrified. 
Do not be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 16. Elisha could see what was invisible to most people, God's forces at work on behalf of his people. Angels are at work around us, and it is tempting to become more enthralled with these beautiful, mighty creatures than with the Son of God. What do you think about Michael? Do you have any concern or comments about him or other angels in the Bible? Let us know in the comments section below.